Hi, I'm Elizabeth Durazio coming to you from the Upper Valley Humane Society. And because the spring is gearing up, it's a perfect time to remind you about the triathlon at Eastman. I'm joined by Charlie Tabor, and he's gonna tell us how this event now in its 14th year benefits the Humane Society. Thank you for joining us, Charlie. Thanks for having me. 14 years, what a milestone. It is a very successful event that has grown uh, within the community of Eastman and throughout literally New England as far as the draw of uh, athletes coming f to our event. And you have such a beautiful facility, just a wide range of terrain. It's quite challenging at places too. It's a, a course that I feel is good for beginners but also tests the, the people of, who c keep coming back year after year. It's a challenge but it's also a a fair event for people to, who have never tried a triathlon uh, before to attempt also. And you're sanctioned as well. We are sanctioned by USA Triathlon, mm -hmm. which is the governing body of triathlon in, this, in, the, in the USA. And the event is governed by them, so we abide by their policies and their, their rules and formats, yes. Which is really nice because having that level of competition locally really says something, not only about the course, but what the experience for the riders and the participants will have. It does, and uh, we continually get uh, good feedback from the athletes as to organization, uh, the type of course it is, so uh, we feel very uh, proud of what we put on for a, a product. For but we day. don't want to scare away any newbies out there because you can be any age and this can even be your first triathlon, so tell us about how you get the kids involved. We have a separate event that uh, starts at 10 o'clock versus the uh, adult event starting at eight, just for the kids. Mm -hmm. It's also sanctioned by USA Triathlon. Much shorter distance, uh, very much of a beginner event mm -hmm. uh, for a, a child as we've had kids five years old compete up to 14. You get to 14, then you move on to the, yeah. the adult event, so to speak, once you've, you've had enough experience at that level. But distance wise, much shorter. They go in the water and swim 200 yards they ride their bike for two miles and then they do a, mo a one mile run, a much uh, more doable task for some, some child. But it's also a, a first time event for a lot of kids. So we encourage them if they're a little timid or, or the parent is a little being overly cautious to join them. Uh, they can get in the water and swim next to their child. They can ride their bike alongside or you know, accompany, accompany them on the run, it's fine. See, that's what's really nice about this is right in our backyard, we have a quality event. It helps the Humane Society, which we're trying to bring awareness to with these series of shows. Tell us about the distances that the adults have to tackle. The adults go into uh, Eastman Lake for a third of a mile swim. Mm -hmm. It's a triangular course, so they uh, will start and finish in a very similar location, but come out into transition, they get on their bikes and ride out of Eastman for approximately 12 miles, they go north on Route 10, and it's an out and back course, so they'll come back into Eastman. And then when they transition through on their run, they run, uh, it's a wooded, mm -hmm. um, kind of a trail run, but it's uh, a utility path that they're on, so sure. it's wide enough and it's uh, groomed out, so it's, it's very forgiving to runners. It's not a lot of obstacles or anything to worry about. Along, uh, so they run along the west shore of Eastman Lake, and it's, uh, Wooded to an extent, but you run across the beach, and uh, but it's a, it's a nice, ca I wouldn't call it casual, but it's a, it's a challenge. There's some surprises on the run course as far as some short, quick hills, mm -hmm. but they like the run course as well. And the great thing about this is you can help yourself, maybe meet that goal of doing your first triathlon or start your family off at it, but we can also participate by helping you out because you're still looking for some volunteers. And to produce an event, it, it takes a village, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great amount of Eastman residents who volunteer, which really makes Eastman special. But if there's anyone in the viewing area who says, gee, I, I've got some time, but I don't want to compete, but I, I could go down there and give them a hand, we'd love to have them come. Mm -hmm. uh, we can always use volunteers, especially on the day of the race. There are a lot of positions that need to be, uh, for the safety of the runners especially, mm -hmm and the, you know, the bike riders, et cetera, uh, man to make things safe for everybody involved. And anyone can help. Anybody can help. We have families, uh, whether it be you know, handing out a cup of you know, water for hydrate, at a hydration stop or washing dishes after the brunch, um, tying wristbands on, onto athletes' wrists. There's always a job for somebody. Well, I wanna thank you, Charlie. And as you heard, there's always a job for someone 
to help benefit the Upper Valley Humane Society. Remember to check on the website and register as soon as you can because the spots are filling up quickly. But the Eastman Triathlon going 14 years strong to benefit a great cause.